the general term of the given series has two components in the denominator the first component is the general term of the series 1 3 5 and so on so the rth term is equal to 2r minus 1 the second component in the denominator is the rth term of the series 3 5 7 and so on which is 2r plus 1 now multiplying the numerator and denominator of this general term ur by 2 the numerator can be rewritten as 2r plus 1 minus 2r minus 1 and the denominator remains the same as 2 times 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 now ur can be then broken into two components the first component is half of 2r plus 1 divided by 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 and the second component is 2r minus 1 divided by 2 times 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 2r plus 1 cancels across the numerator and denominator in the first term and in the second term 2r minus 1 cancels out and therefore the general term ur can be written as half of in brackets 1 upon 2r minus 1 minus 1 upon 2r plus 1 now put r is equal to 1 to get the value of u1 the first term this is equal to half times in brackets 1 minus 1 upon 3 put r is equal to 2 we get the value of u2 is equal to 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 5 put r is equal to 3 we get u3 is equal to half of 1 upon 5 minus 1 upon 7 and so on finally when r is equal to n un is equal to half of 1 upon 2n minus 1 minus 1 upon 2n plus 1 Now we add up all of the above expressions. On the left hand side, we get the sum of the series to n terms. Let's denote this by S n. And on the right hand side, alternate terms cancel out, and we are left with only two terms, the sum of which is equal to half of in brackets one minus one upon two n plus one. The right hand side simplifies to half of two n plus one. Minus one divided by two n plus one, and therefore the value of S n simplifies to n divided by two n plus one, which is the required answer.